What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Freak Apocalypse. Let's get right back into it, shall we? Woo! I hope everybody's having a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to have some fun. Uh, let's see. I think we were going to see the library. So that's what we're going to do. And it's not this way. It is this way. Who's this? You are a different person. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Please, I... Ah, Mr. McCarthy. Just the person I wanted to see. That doesn't sound good. How observant of you. The thing is, little bitch. Can I call you little bitch? <laughs> I'd prefer you didn't. The thing is, little bitch, you owe the library some debt. Does 99 ways to make friends. The psionic Steve versus the bronze brain, or where are my pubes? A guide to late bloomers. Sound familiar? <laughs> uh, isn't there some sort of confidentiality rule or something? I know you have them, Cooper. The library knows everything! It's okay. I, I could just run home and get them. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Not with regular unbeaten knees, anyway. What? No, my knees! Those are my favorite knees! Lucky no knee beating! I have a little deal to offer. Either we take your overdue book debt out on your little bitch knees, or you can do us a favor on the down low. We're missing a very important carpentry book. First edition. Bring it back to me and I might let you live. Hell, I'll even throw in a little something extra for scratching our back. How does that sound? Sounds like I don't have a choice. You don't. Now get moving while you still can walk. Okay, since it's not in the library, where the hell could I possibly find a missing carpentry book? Hmm, maybe in the shop class? And we've already been there, so I know where to go. But that is a very, um... Hey, don't tell me this shit. It's a very rude librarian, or very, uh... Straightforward. Uh, this way? Oh, no, wait, it was the other one. Oh, I'm outside. Uh, don't feel safe out here, I'm going back inside. There was a guy smoking. Oh, staying inside. Oh, you go that way. There we go. I remember now. Picasso over here. Or Van Gogh. Where? Where's this book? There's a finger there. Severed thumb? I mean, another severed thumb. <laughs> I don't see the book. Have you seen the book, my friend? Hey, Max. You doing all right? I don't know, dude. This birdhouse stuff just isn't for me. Would you say it's for the birds? That was 0% funny, Coop. Sorry, I just saw an opening. Had to take it. Anyway, if it makes you feel any better, I couldn't even tell that was a birdhouse. No. No, that does not make me feel any better. Give me a break. I'm trying over here. I don't see the book why is he can just ask anybody to go to prom with you <laughs> all right have you ever made something other than a birdhouse yeah i tried to make a bird mansion once but that turned out even worse yeesh what'd that look like it looked like it was part of a planned demolition unlike a planned demolition however they found bodies under the rubble oh yikes what happened i was hoisting it up with a rope and pulley but the whole thing came crashing down Teacher was pissed, lives were lost, not my best Thursday. Damn, so what became of the project? The teacher recycled the wood and constructed a memorial to all those who died in the Bird Mansion. He gave the pulley back to the janitor. I'm not allowed to use it anymore. I did not hear hey. about any of this. I have a pulley. Okay, catch you later, Max. Don't talk to me like we're friends, Coop. Wait, can I give him the pulley? Coop loses 10 confidence points. Oh, I guess not. Okay. What's this? Are fire extinguishers supposed to feel mushy? That's disturbing on so many levels. Oh. Here it is! It's really stuck under there. 
I'm gonna have to find a way to raise the desk if I want to get that book out from under it. Ah, no problem. It's too high up. Maybe I can toss something onto it instead. Uh. There we go. Hanging the pulley on there with nothing else won't do me much oh. good. I better combine the pulley with something first. Let me use my minuscule brain to figure this out. Uh. 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 Swing and a miss. Look like Bob fucking Vila? <laughs> it's a vice. Great for locking your arm in place if it becomes possessed by a demon. My only vice is. Oh, I don't need a vice crew. I don't know. I meant to do. I'm gonna start using all random stuff. Uh. Didn't work at all. So, chain. What's the sound of the men working on the chain gang? It's a chain dangling from the ceiling. What is this? A prequel to Hellraiser? What the f eh, Wrong. I was gonna keep trying. That was a bright idea. Oh, wait. No. It wasn't. Hanging the pulley on there with nothing else won't do me much good. I better combine the pulley with something first. But what? It's an electric sander. Imagine how much faster Daniel LaRusso could have learned karate if he had one of these. <laughs> and slice off my fingers? Well... What are you supposed to use the pulley on? Hey Todd, you look a bit more roughed up than- Yeah, I broke my arm in a freak 2x4 accident. I don't really want to talk about it. Oh, sorry. And what happened to your eye? Oh, funny story actually. I aimed my hammer the wrong way and got a nail stuck in it. Aimed your hammer the wrong way? Yep. And got a nail stuck in your eye? Uh-huh. Wow. Well, at least it's an unusual injury. Yep, third time I've done it this semester. Jesus, Todd. Oh, uh, let's stay here. I meant to do that. I'm just giving up at this point. <laughs> I'll tell everyone I saw you. The birdhouse inspector wouldn't pass any of these avian death traps. Pretty sure the one with the non-functional clock was supposed to be a birdhouse too. Thanks for playing. I give up. Don't know. You know, once I saw a cartoon where they were lifting a heavy piano up into a building with a pull. Wait, I need a rope. Where is the rope? I can't find the rope. Ah. I gotta find a rope. Possibly a rope. I don't know where a rope would be. Oh, what is this? Is this the break room? 
Oh, somebody's jacked up on coffee. You strike me as a don't talk to me till I've had my coffee kind of guy. And yet, here we are. I've been known to fancy a cup of bean juice on occasion. Is that right? Oh, totally. I'm a regular old Java junkie. I take mine black with cream, extra beans, and a cup. You've never had coffee before, have you? No, but how many cups have you had? Today, this hour, my whole life? Let's just start with this hour and go from there. Oh, let's see. Think about 22 cups. But I don't drink for the numbers. I drink for the sport of it. All right. Catch you later, Rejuvenator. Sounds good, kid. About time for a refill anyway. Just a need to be one. All right. He's uh, got a problem. So am I supposed to look for a rope for the pulley? I need that. Uh, definitely not in here. Don't know why I keep going in there. Hi there. I don't know where I would find a rope. I found the pulley in here, but surprise, there's not a rope. There's already rumors swirling around about me grabbing my hose at school. I don't need to validate them. Oh. Well, I guess. Let me go outside since that's the only place I haven't really been. I don't know. Can't be that confusing. Okay. There's shoes up there. Guy smoking. A hippie playing guitar. Nothing to resemble any kind of rope of any sort. Why? School isn't over yet, so I can't leave early. Well, this sucks. Okay, so my brain has told me that there is possibly a rope in the gymnasium. But why not? Climb rope in gym class. So let's see. Uh, somebody over there. Hello, how are you? Pardon me, but do you stop talking? I don't want to catch dork disease. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hey, look a rope. I could climb that. I could barely lift my backpack. Uh, Looks like a climby rope for climby boys and girls. This is my inner dialogue. This is how I think with my brain. Huh. A conversation with a rope? Sure, why not? <laughs> Ahoy there. Say, do you? Don't talk to me, loser. Uh, how am I supposed to get the rope there? This is the rope I need. Do I have to cut it? Either. And so our hero fails again. I'm so confused. Knock knock. Get bit, nerd. Narwhals, narwhals, can't be beat. They'll kick your head and break your feet. Narwhals scratch and narwhals bite. Come on, narwhals, fight, fight, fight. All right. Wait, wasn't there a, a box cutter in the shop class? What, can I use that? This is getting in my nerves. Wait, now. <sighs> just go this way. Just, just go. Just go through the library. Aggravating myself here. 
uh, poor fella. Yeah, can I get that? All right. Sweet, a box cutter. It's like the switchblade of office supplies. <laughs> All right, box cutter. Got to be able to use it on the road. All right, moment of truth, folks. Yay! We did it. I'm sure nobody will miss this portion of the rope. Who knows? Maybe I'll need to lift a piano or something. Uh, desk actually. Let's get it. Run, run. All right, let's see. Yeah, combine with the rope. Combining a rope and pulley? Genius! How do I come up with these great ideas? Takes me a while. And put that up here. Damn, I've got surprisingly good aim. Okay, that's more secure than I'll ever be. <laughs> Activate. I just tossed it up there. I don't want it back. Oh, wait, wait. It's really stuck under there. Well, let's go. Lift it up. How do we lift? It's too high up. Maybe. Oh, do you this? Oh, there we go. I'm not going to question the physics of what just happened. I'm just glad it worked. Get the book. Get it. I have the carpentry book. I better return this to the librarian before she breaks my little bitch knees. All right, can I put it back now? Oh, we're just gonna leave it. Okay, fair enough. And to the librarian. Here's your damn book. Hey, uh, I found that missing book you were looking for. You stole it, didn't you? Uh. Admit it! Admit it! What? No! I found it under a table in the shop class. Ah, oh, the shop class! That explains it! All the students in there should be executed now! It'll spare me from having to put my tax dollars towards housing them in prison later down the road! Oh, good lord. Uh, yeah. So, can I get my reward now? Reward? What reward? You said if I scratched your back by recovering that book, you'd give me something. That doesn't sound like something I'd say, and I don't want your grubby little fingers scratching my back. However, you did bring back that book, so here's a coupon for one free Rod's Thick Cheese Pizza. I hope you choke on it. Oh. Wow, thanks! This is actually really nice, and I totally appreciate- Shh. Ready for Rod. <laughs> okay. Now what? Uh, let's see. Chores. Open my locker. Don't know how. Collect the free cheese pizza from Rod. And get anchovy chips from the vending machine. I still need to open my locker. I still don't know where I could find a pencil for my locker. I'll talk to this person. Hello, Mr. Pepe. Well, well. It seems the winds have served as nature's guide, bringing a weird little nomad unto me. Uh, right. My name's Coop, by the way. Young Coop. I cannot speak for long, for I have to stay vigilant against those who find the need to take more from this earth than they give. Is there a printer here I could use? 
I am afraid not, for the serpent who lives within has shown itself, causing great sorrow and confusion across the computer lab. What happened? Due to underfunding, a great malaise has swept over the school like a storm over the gentle plains. <laughs> the tools of the people are being sequestered under a blind eye. Much of the equipment has been taken, and I can only wish to Mother Squirrel and Brother Antelope in hopes that it fell into the hands of someone who truly needed it. So, it was stolen. Got it. Also, every program is being updated to suit the needs of a 64-bit operating system, so applications can launch in harmony and not overtax the CPU like the farmer who harvests too much grain. Huh? These are dire times, young papoose. These are dire times indeed. Tell me about it. See you later, Mr. Pepe. Huh. Well, wouldn't there be like a pencil in the art room, you would think? That would be the place I would go to find a pencil. Where is the art class? This nurse is on. This is art. Isn't there not an art class somewhere? Who are you? Do you have a minute? Ah, stranger danger. Oh yeah. Hmm. I don't know. What about this guy? Do you have a pencil? How's it hanging? 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 This is no gallery. Can't you see this painting is currently displayed on an easel and not hung upon the walls? Sorry I asked. As you should be. Is this one of those magic eye paintings? Because I don't see it. You don't see it because your unrefined eye can't comprehend its brilliance. Can you mansplain it to me? This painting is how you say crap but the number one ribbon elevates it as a celebration. A celebration of crap. Whimsical commentary from the artist about the current state of art. Genius. My grandma says I'm number one. <laughs> I'm not high enough for this. Later. <laughs> Good riddance, Philistine. Where is this dang pencil? What? Have I just walked in on? There's the pencil. I have found the pencil. I'm going to grab the pencil. You're coming with me, my groovy graphite companion. Um. Jesus Christ! What the hell, Mr. Murphy? Mm, mm, mm. What the hell are you doing? Okay, I can see that, but why have you gagged yourself? Suit yourself, but I really think this is inappropriate for school. Do you need help? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm flexible enough to pull off the necessary amount of torque. What's that, boy? Is little Timmy stuck in a well? Show me, boy, show me! <laughs> oh, he's not stuck and he's hiding from you? Is that even possible before Labor Day? Suit yourself, no pun intended. I'm gonna try to repress this from my memory. Bye! <laughs> Can I press the button? Everyone knows better than to touch Mr. Murphy's ominous red button. Oh, all right. Well, I guess I'm leaving then. That was uh, nice to walk in on. Oh, I got my pencil though. Locker time. Sweet. It's nice to know pencils still have a use in modern times. <laughs> I'll have Grandma sign this later, so I can go on the school field trip to the bomb shelter. Alright, I'm done! Eat shit, obligations! Now I can finally get out of this godforsaken school and score some free pizza. Alright. Well, wait, can I go to get the anchovy chips from the vending machine? Because I didn't do that. That was a side mission. Or is it too late? Uh, I don't think there's like a quarter on the ground anywhere. How's 
going? Just trying to make a choice here. Grab some chips. Chips are the best. Hmm. I think you're onto something there, but what kind? Anchovy chips. They have anchovy chips. I don't know why, but they do. Oh shit! Anchovy chips? I didn't even see those. Hell yeah! Okay, sweet! You made a decision. It's the wrong decision, but hey, you made it. I'm proud of you. Hey, thanks. Now I just need to find another quarter. God damn it! I knew it was a damn quarter! I needed a dang quarter! It's not in the garbage, is it? It's piling up, just like our future student debt. Oh? Yeah, I don't... I don't think there's gonna be a quarter. I really don't feel like looking for the quarter. I mean, I'm just gonna be looking around on the ground for a quarter. Is that what I'm gonna be doing? This messy. Oh, wait, I wonder. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna look one place for this quarter. If it's not there, I'm not worrying about it. And their relationship can go somewhere else. Uh, where is the lounge? I forgot. What? Hey, I found art class. How come I never went in this way before? I can't go anywhere else. Well, I don't see a quarter in here. Not wasting my time. Quarter! Where are you, quarter? There's a quarter in the teacher's lounge. machine for cigarettes the cornerstone of any faculty diet warning maybe smooth and delicious but if I smoke I'll croak <laughs> well I don't see a quarter I really want nowhere else to look I'm just gonna leave the school yeah I'm getting out of here time to go time to go We out of here, folks. What's up, everyone? Hey, is that a quarter? No. It's full of trash, but I'm pretty sure this is out of the school janitor's jurisdiction. You couldn't pay me enough money to touch that. Oh. That piece of toast. What's up, home slice? <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Oh, am I going to get pizza? I guess that's where I'm going. Circle J. Huh. Uh, this is the gas station. Where's the pizza place? I want free pizza. Shark dead. Um, protesters? I just want my pizza. Rod's Pizza! Hello, found it. So, what's it like wearing a chicken outfit all day long? Eh, beats being in high school. I legitimately can't argue with that. How long did it take you to get that good at sign twirling? About 10 years. Wow, I had no idea you sign spinners put so many hours into it. Yeah. It's a unique skill, a lost art, if you will. We twirlers have been honing our craft for ages, so businesses had best cough up some real cash if they want our expertise. Oh yeah? 
What kind of cash? Minimum wage. Uh. Dare to dream. <laughs> I gotta run. Talk to you later. Oh. Let's get our free pizza. Hello, sir. Free pizza, please. Watch it be expired. As luck would have it, I actually have a coupon for a free pizza. A free pizza? You sure that coupon isn't expired? There's no expiration on it. Damn. Wish I could say the same about my condoms. Your what? What? Uh, my condiments. What is that? So, can what I get that? that free cheese pizza? All right, why the hell not? Just don't go telling your friends I'm giving away free pizzas. Unless, of course, they're barely legal females. Then you can send them my way. Deal? Uh, deal. What the? Right on. Here you go, kid. Enjoy my thick pizza. Wish you wouldn't say it like that, but thanks. Ah, a lovely cheese pizza, just for me. I guess today wasn't all bad. Time to head back home and scarf it down. Home. Where is home? I'm not coming back to this pizza place. Um. All right, let's find home, shall we? Lemonade. I don't want your lemonade. I want to go home. Ice cream, man. Thank. A lot of stuff here. So I'm gonna stick to my mission. I'm pretty sure my house is back this way. I saw some houses. Is that my house? Well, 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 look who it is. Put me down! Leave me alone! Uh, at least he brought us some pizza. Come on, guys, that's my lunch! And dinner! Relax, Pipsqueak. We saved you some. Extra, extra, read all about it! Today's top story, you fuckers are douchebags! Hey, these claims huh. are unsubstantiated! Don't you have anything better to do than push around Coop? Oh, bite it, Sawyer! Just get out of the way so I can kick the shit out of this shrimp! Kick the shit out of him, huh? You mean like the time you kicked the shit out of your pant leg, Chet? Uh... You did what? Babe, babe, no, I was sick You're and... fucking gross! Oh my god! I have to go shower! It was Ew! just a little nugget! Oh, don't oh, touch babe, me! Like that. <laughs> it was just a little nugget. Well... That was gross. Anyway, my lovely Sawyer, now that we're alone... Uh, hey, third party, right in front of you? Shut the fuck up, Smegma Breath! Now that we're alone, I've been meaning to ask, do you have a date for prom? I'd like a girl who has dirt on everyone. That chance, Kent. I'll be at prom, but strictly as a reporter. I can see the headline already. Kent not awarded prom king, cries for 72 hours straight, and dies a dehydrated husk. That's what you think. The school isn't letting anyone go stag. Damn it! No stag attendees? What is this, some kind of breeding camp? <laughs> Face it, Sawyer. The only way into the dance is to give in to your desires. Take my hand and say yes. Will you be my prom queen? Actually... I'm going with Coop. Coop? You fucking serious? Uh, me? Really? <laughs> oh, I get it. You're playing hard to get to entice the big dog. Well, woof woof. It's smart. You gotta play games to win a five-time king like me. Uh... Meow. Looks like this cat has claws. Let the games begin. I'll pick out a nice slow song for us to dance closely to when you go with me to prom. Cause if you go with Coop, I'd have to kill him. <laughs> Wasn't that your bike? Oh yeah. What? Shit. Oh? How'd you know I didn't have a date? Um, call it a hunch. I didn't even know you liked me. Aw, of course I like you, little buddy. 
You're my favorite neighbor. <laughs> and anyway, did you see how pissed off Kent was? That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna murder me. Don't worry about that snooty prick. You gotta stick up for yourself, Coop. They won't pick on you if you fight back. You think? Because last week I tweeted, Kent can sometimes be impolite, and he responded by swatting my house. Oh, I heard about that. Sorry about your dog. Oh. I miss Scooter. Yeah, well, you're on your own tomorrow, pal. I'm gone all day on a field trip. Stay strong, brother. Fight the power. Later, Coop. Cool, yeah. Damn the man, and so on. I am so screwed. So much for my pizza. <laughs> Empty pizza box. Okay. I'm gonna lick the box. Ah, Coop! You're home! Hey, Grandma! Ma'am. You sure are full of life today. I've had such a wonderful day. I got some groceries, finished my Kegel exercises, and guess what? Your grandma has a date this week. <sighs> That's great, Grandma. My, my, my. You sure are devoid of life today. <laughs> Tough day at school again? <sighs> yeah. Was it those bullies? Your own grandma can roll up her sleeves and knock some heads together. Please don't. Last time you helped, you only made it worse. Now they just say, Better call your grandma to come save you, pussy, while they punch me even harder. What? Are you ashamed of your old grandma? No, Graham, it's just... <sighs> Have you ever heard the phrase, adding insult to injury? Oh, sure, I've heard lots of phrases. Like, no matter how flat you make a pancake, it always has two sides. Yeah, but... Oh, oh, or you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. <laughs> Your grandma <laughs> is full of them. <sighs> Boy, I'll say. Oh, I'm sorry you had a bad day. You know, you'll always be my little Cooper hero. Thanks, Graham. Cheer up, Coop. I know you like helping people, so why don't you help me out? When you're ready, I have a couple of things that only a superhero like yourself could do. Sure, Grandma. I'll talk to you soon. Free time at last. Now I can look, touch, and talk to all my cool stuff. Well, until I'm ready to go help out Grandma with whatever she needs, that is. All right, we made it to Maru. Um, uh, what am I gonna do with my pizza? And so our hero fails again. Oh, I guess I can throw it away. I meant to do that. Well, uh, what else am I supposed to do with it? The empty pizza box. Outlook not so good. <sighs> um. Okay. Well. Um. Uh, permission slip. Got your grandma to sign. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. Wait, is that a hamster? A memorial for where my hamster used to live. These oh. are sacred grounds. Hey, look, he's still in there. Nah, I don't feel like playing with my hamster's ghost. That's just slightly depressing. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. And pick me back up in the next one and get Grandma to sign this permission slip. So, drop a like if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.